Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the card for Friday Night Stan Firm. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello JFW Universe, we are just a couple short hours away from Friday Stan Firm and the card for the night has dropped. What you're seeing in front of you is our opening match. It's a fatal four-way against four Plim Plom cruiserweights who are all vying to make their presence known at SummerSlam. That's right, the title is on the line, and these four are our top competitors in the division. Tonight, one of them will go home. The other three will go to a triple threat next week, and then one more will go home, and then we will have another triple threat with the last two men standing against Ghoulface Killa at SummerSlam. Cannot wait to see who rises to the top of the Plim Plum Cruiserweights. Yes, it sounds, it sounds a great idea. And uh, yeah, we're getting to the nitty gritty. It should be glorious. <laughs> yes, sir. And look at this. McNaughty McNaughton making a call out. He is planning to get himself a match later in the show. Who's it going to be? My, you know, you know, all, you know, all eyes are on Calcium Cass right now. But McNaughton seems to want to move on from that. He's already got the lady. Now it sounds like he wants the gold. So we're going to have to wait and hear what McNaughton says with his weird-ass accent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who knows? Who knows what he'll be after, apart from a deep-fried Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get to his match, we're going to have a big man, little man tag match. That's right. One of our heavyweight division, one of our plim plum cruiserweights, all tagging up. We've got the bread mask with Flicky Flack versus former champion Unseen Walker and Ripper Doc. Yeah, it should be very interesting, won't it? We've never had one of these before, so this is a this, uh, new, new ground, break new ground, JFW, will be very Absolutely. exciting. Absolutely. Be interesting to see if they have any sort of tag chemistry before. We've seen Flicky Flack tagging with terrible partners in the past, so he <laughs> might have an advantage here tagging with LeBred Mask. We'll have to wait and see, though. Absolutely. <laughs> and then... Oh, and then we come to McNaughton versus his mystery opponent. Who is it going to be? Place your bets now. Can't wait to find out. Yep. Oh, and look at this. Another <laughs> glorious backstage brawl by Scaramezzo, scheduled to face off against the shithead Shawnee. <laughs> and I can't wait to see Scuro pummel the crap out of Shawnee. Must be getting rewarded for putting someone over last week backstage. This time it's all business. Scurro needs to get back to his championship winning ways. And he will. By God, he will. <laughs> By God. <laughs> Whoa, how and about then this? look at this. The two heads championship is going to be on the line. And the cream has all risen to the top. And there's no way to skim it off. So we're just throwing everyone in the match now. And we're going to see if we can find someone who can stand above the others to go up against the fucking rats. It's an eight-man tag match. That means we're going to have two tag teams on each side. This could be a fucking mess. It's going to be six feet down under. And my personal favorites, the Unnatural Stackers versus... Dress for business and Das Hot, and that's going to be a rough team because those two guys have a lot of history against each other all over the place. This match is scheduled for a 10-minute time limit. Will we even have a decision by the end of the 10 minutes? Nobody knows. Or was it 15, Jim? <laughs> it was 15. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that after I said it. Oh, well, this is going to be a fucking mess. <laughs> Expect anything possible could happen in it. Yeah, and it even looks, it even says, hey, man, normalize, I'm going to have to make sure I, I fix that. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm sure it didn't do, hey, man, normal, but never mind, right. Um, yep. And finally, our main event, WR Spenny picked up a big win against Dave last <laughs> week, and now he's going up against Tony Plays Poorly, your world heavyweight champion. Can Spenny continue his winning ways? and make a claim that he should be vying for that somewhat open title. No one really knows who Tony's going to be defending against at SummerSlam, just that Tony's going to be defending at SummerSlam. It could be anyone, and I can't wait to find out. 
Oh, you always glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metal. Yeah, and Spenny has won a he's won a world class thing. He's he's won his other matches. He's he's quite the force, is WR Spenny, isn't he? So uh... yeah, absolutely. And Tony's got to be looking over his back just a little bit. You know, Ard Black out there with that money in the ass contract. He's got someone breathing down his throat for it right now. Maybe he just thinks it's time to cash it in and get it done with before he has a chance to have it stolen. Or maybe he doesn't want to go anywhere near the the massive thighs of W.R. Spenny and the always winning ways of Tony plays poorly. The sometimes winning ways, I should say. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> well, absolutely fantastic. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, glorious card. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso, as always. Of course, of course. I'll see you in a little bit. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.